Hello there, this is Mad Wilkes and Ob, Mad Wilkes and Tarot. It is Monday, December the 20th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. Ooh, I saw ten cups. This is a general reading. Will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Libra. How are you doing, Libra? How do they feel about you? Spirit. Ace of Wands, ooh, they're passionate about you. They're very passionate. They want to give you their wand, male or female. Two of Wands, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. Um, you may have to travel to see each other. There may be a distance between you. The world. The world. They may think that you think this is over. The sun, you are their sun. They spy, they think you're their happiness, joy, bliss. The chariot, they want this to move forward. Again, there may be travel between the two of you. Maybe this is a long distance thing. They love you. They love you. They love you. They think you're their soulmate. King and queen of love. They want to work on this with you. Their soulmate again. They are very passionate about you. They're waiting. There's This may be a long distance thing. They might think that you think this is over. They think you're their happiness, joy, bliss. They want this to move forward. Again, there may be a distance. King and queen of love. They want to work on this with you. And they think you're soulmates. I forgot to write when this started. Oracles. Chaos and conflict. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Bottom of the deck. No place like home. They want to build a home with you, I think. Job. Career. You're very passionate about your career. And you may have to travel to get to work. Or travel for work. Someone may be watching you. I don't watch my back if I was you. The Hierophant. You're very committed to your job. This is, um, yeah, you're very committed with, very committed to your job. Ten of Pentacles. You are very, very successful. This is money. This is good money. You love your job. You love it. You got ultimate financial abundance. Ultimate abundance in love. Knight of Swords. Your job has something to do with communication. I see some in and out uh, energy. Oh. You might have to travel to to back and forth from your job. You're very passionate about it. Someone may be watching you, warning. You're very committed. You make good, good money. You love your job. Your job may have something to do with communication. Oops. 
shuffle them up a bit. Hello, Scorpio. I am cutting the deck for Scorpio. How do they feel about you? Spirit. Five of Pentacles. They think you're dramatic. They think you are dramatic. They think that you um, are throwing a pity party. Poor me, poor me. They might want to drop a sword on this. Uh, from these two cards, I think that uh, this may be a karmic cycle. They're holding on to you with their heart chakra. They think that you're holding back. Six of Pentacles. They want equal give and take with you. Are you giving them equal give and take? Six of Cups. They're nostalgic. Um, I think things were better in the past. They kind of want to go back. Go back. They're waiting. They're waiting for you. They think you're keeping secrets. They're trying to manifest you into their life. They think you're too dramatic. They may be wanting to drop a sword on this and end it. They think this is a karmic cycle. They think that you're holding back. They want equal give and take. It looks like they're nostalgic for days gone by. They are being patient. They are waiting. They think that there's secrets here, but they are trying to manifest you into their life. Oracle cards. Here and now. They want to live in the hero now, here and now. Never ending story. I feel like this is karmic. This may be a karmic cycle. Maybe over. Career cards. The sun, you're very happy in your job. This is your happiness, joy, bliss. Knight of Wands, passionate about your job. You're passionate. Queen of Swords. Um, your job may involve uh, communication. You are, um, how do I say this? You are matter of fact, matter of fact, this is how it is. This is how I want it. Two of cups, you love your job. This is your wish come true. You're in the right profession. Um, you are very uh, spiritual. Your job is your bliss. You're very passionate about your job. You are matter of fact. This is how I am. This is how I want things to be. You love your job. This is your wish come true. Um, I feel like you are very not spiritual, but um, you meditate, I see yoga, and that kind of thing. I don't know if I explained that right.
I'm trying to split these cards up. Hello Sagittarius, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Oops, I had a flipper. Not sure where it is, I'll find it. Cutting the deck for Sagittarius. Spirit. Ten of, they think that this is over. They think that you think this is over. They think you think this is done. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They may think that you're inconsistent. They want you to make a decision. They want you to make a decision about this. They think that you think this is over. Looks like they're broken hearted. They want to work on it, though. Hmm. You are there. They see everything with you. They see the happy family. They see the house. They see the property. They want to start a leap. They want to take a leap of faith with you. Maybe they want to start this again. They see commitment with you. They think you think this is over. They want to talk to you. They think you're inconsistent. They think you are indecisive. They think you think this is over. They are feeling brokenhearted. But they do want to work on it with you. They do see the whole, the happy family, everything with you. They want to take a leap of faith. And they want commitment. It's just... That was a strange read. Fork in the road. They want to move forward. Peace. They want to stop fighting. They just want everything to be peaceful. Career. Nine of Wands. You might have, uh, you might, might be having challenges um, at work. You're tired. I think you need a break. Well, Christmas holidays. You have Christmas holidays? Looks like you need it. The Empress. You're always, you're, you're, uh, you're very passionate and you're always finding new ideas. You're very creative. Just moving forward in your career. Uh, also, you may have to travel for work. King of Wands, you're very passionate about what you do. You're waiting for something. This I see travel here too. Traveling for work. You make good money. Good money. Ultimate financial abundance. I think you're just kind of um, tired out. Um, feeling burdened right now. You are always uh, coming up with uh, new new ideas to like further your career, new ways to make money. You're moving forward in your career. You may have to travel. You're very passionate about what you do, waiting for something. This is also talking about traveling for work. And this talks about Good money. You're making good money.
Oh, that kind of scared me. <laughs> Hello Capricorn, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Cutting the deck for Capricorn. Spirit. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. Temperance. They're being patient. They're waiting for you. Fine timing. They think you've walked away from this. It's like they think you're done. They're waiting for you, but they think you're walk they're waiting for you, but they think you're walking away. Um They're caught between a rock and a hard place. They don't know where to go from here. They're very passionate. Looks like travel. You, there might be a distance between the two of you. This may be a long distance relationship. They love you. They love you. They do. Oh, this is your card, Capricorn. Um, they think you're toxic. Um, they think you may have addictions. Six of Swords. They think you're moving on from this. Oh yeah, they think you're unfeeling. They think you're dropping the sword on this. They are waiting for you. Waiting for their ships to come in. They're being patient. But they think you're walking away from this. So they are caught between a rock and a hard place. They don't know where to go from this. This may be a long distance relationship. They do love you, but they think you're toxic and they think that you may have addictions. They think you're moving on from this and they think that you're unfeeling and that you're going to drop a sword on this relationship. Cut them out. Message in a bottle. Oh, yes. Eight of Wands talks about passionate communication so there's your message no place like home well if this is a long distance thing they would rather be at their place than yours than yours it looks like career six of pentacles there's equal give and take in your career two of wands you're waiting for something you may have to travel for you may have to travel for work Ace of Swords. Um, may have something to do with uh, communication. I don't know, like um, public speaking, something like that. Or you are clearing the air with someone. You're very passionate about what you do. This is success, success. Um, you're, th you're being nostalgic. You're thinking about the past. <clears throat> you're in your work. There's equal give and take. Everything is balanced. You may be waiting for something. There may be travel involved in your work. You are, um, very, uh, very honest, straight to the point. This may have something to do with com communication. You're very passionate about your job. You're successful at it. You're, um, you're kind of thinking about um, what happened in the past. Oh. 
There's the card that flipped. Hello there, Aquarius. Hello there, Aquarius. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Cutting the deck for Aquarius. Spirit. Seven of Pentacles, they want to work on this with you. They want to build a solid foundation. They want to work with you. Three of Cups. You are their happiness. The Emperor. They may think that you're a little bit stubborn here. And uh, you're matter of fact. You're like, this is the way it is. Oh, they think you think this is over. Um, they think you're their karma. This is positive, positive karma. They s see a future with you. They love you. They love you. They do. Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to you. With your heart chakra, they may think that you are um, misery. Misery? Is that right? With love. Like you're a miser, you're not giving them enough love. Oops. But that you are their wish come true. They want to work on this with you. They want to work on they want to work on a solid foundation. Um you are their happiness. With the two threes, they may, might think that they, that you are that there's another person in the mix. They think you're pretty stubborn and uh, matter of fact. They think that you think this is over. They think that you are their karma. They want to be with you. They love you. They think that you are withholding emotion, but you are their wish come true. Yang, Divine Masculine. I, see, I saw Divine Masculine here too with the Emperor. Time for a nap. Might need a little break from each other right now. Career. This is your card, Aquarius. You love your job. You love it. It is your wish come true. Oh, there might be drama at work. Drama, drama, drama. Um, you're juggling more than one project at a time. Queen of Wands, you're passionate about what you do. Hmm. I haven't seen the Queen of Wands in this deck yet. Oh, there's someone there's someone sneaky at work. Someone who's going to uh, back, stab you in the back. Watch out. That's your warning right there. Well, I guess when we saw drama here. Um, you Things are going to get better. You're uh, moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. This is going to be resolved. You love your job. It's your wish come true. There's drama happening. You are juggling more than one um, 
more than one project at a time or more than one business idea at a time. You're very passionate about your job. There may be a ba somebody who's going to stab you in the back. Forearm forewarned is forearmed. Is that how it goes? Um, things are getting better. You're moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. Things are um, things are calming down. Hello there, Pisces. How are you doing today? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Cutting the deck for Pisces. Spirit. Two of Cups. They love you. They love you. They think you're their soulmate. They love you. Romantic messages are coming in. King of Pentacles. They think you're a catch. They think you're ground about stable. They think that you're their person, your partner, their partner. Oh, they think that this is over. Or they're well, wanting to make a brand new start with you. Queen of Pentacles, yes, they think you are soulmates again. It's soulmate energy with the Two of Cups, and we have soulmate energy with the King and Queen of Pentacles. They want to move forward. This might be a long distance thing. There might be um, a distance between the two of you. Ace of Pentacles. They see, um, they see move, forward movement. Five of Pentacles. Um, they might think you're being dramatic right now. Ooh, they think that there's toxic energy here, or they think that you have addiction issues. You are their soulmate. They love you. King King of Pentacles, they think you are a catch. You think they think you're the one. They may think that you that this you, they think that you think this is over or they want a brand new start. Soulmate energy, they think you're a catch. They want to move forward. There may be a distance. They uh, they think they th they think that you're their you're a catch, yes. They may think that there's drama here. And they may think that the, that uh, there's toxic behavior here, lying, cheating, stealing, or that there's addictions at play, that you have addictions. I think they're willing to work on this, though, because they do love you. Time to go, maybe time to move on. And yang, divine masculine. Career. Nine of swords. There's something going on at work that's giving you sleepless nights and dreams. Bad dreams. Yeah, you might have uh, different projects on the go, or you may have, um, you may be looking for another job.
Your job is your happiness. Even though you might be going through something right now, you do really like, really do love your, your career. Oh, the, uh, your career might be a burden on you at the moment. Burdening you down. It's like that you're having to fight through obstacles. Something's going on. But you do love your job. You are having some stress at work. Uh, sleepless nights. Worrying. Uh, you may have a bun uh, your choice of projects or you may be you m might have another position in mind but I think it's in the same area of work because you love your job it may be burdening you down at the moment and you may be fighting through some obstacles but at the end of the day you do love your job all right have a great night. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.